So, welcome back to our fundraising stream, Stream for Stream. Remember, if you want more information, you can go to bit.ly slash stream for stream for more information on how to donate. Right now, we want to talk to you about Carl, our executive director here at the Living Rainforest and also our parent company, the Trust for Sustainable Living. Now, we want to talk to Carl a little bit about what the Trust for Sustainable Living does and why. <laughs> thank you, thank you Jasmine. But first I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to our amazing Kickstarter team for the last two days for this marathon fundraising adventure. Thank you. Without you guys we would have been nowhere with this. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. You're welcome, we guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, right, so the Trust for Sustainable Living, we're an educational charity also based here in Hampstead Norris, the little village of Hampstead Norris in Berkshire. Um, now, the Living Rainforest is uh, one of our biggest ventures, of course. We have 100,000 visitors a year in a normal non-COVID year. Um, but in addition to that, we also work on education for sustainability all around the world, in 80 countries around the world. And I guess a lot of people don't know that because they maybe think about us as the Living Rainforest Center um, with our 25,000 school children visiting on curriculum link tours and things like that. So, but we do work around the world as well, um, and we've been doing that for um, 11 years now. Um, and of course, everything is linked because rainforests are being destroyed because of unsustainable practices. You know, it's human impacts, sad to say, um, and that has to change. Yes. Um, so, we work very closely with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, we try to support uh, achieving them through education because yes. without education we're nowhere indeed you know you can have a few specialists uh, knowing lots but if the general po population is still uh, practicing unsustainable behavior and activities then we'll, we'll never get to where we need to get yes yes I've heard our goals here at the Trust for Sustainable Living are empowerment and education and I think that pretty much sums that up perfectly thank you yes, <laughs> yes exactly yeah so stream for stream is part of that because the better rainforest experience that we can give to our visitors uh, and the better care that we can give to our 850 different species of plants and animals, uh, the, the more we are achieving our objective. We're, yes. we're opening people's eyes. Yeah. We're not telling everyone they have to go to a real rainforest. We're giving them an experience of a yeah. hot, humid rainforest uh, yes. in, in the UK yeah. without having to travel thousands of miles and burn up, uh, burn up um, lots of fossil fuels. And exactly. Yeah. I know that the, the stream that we are trying to construct and is the reason why we are doing our fundraising stream will benefit our, our animals and our plants and really kind of help, I hope, to make our habitat the whole kind of ecosystem that we are trying to represent of the living rainforest. So being able to come here for the general public and see a rainforest stream within a rainforest glasshouse is incredibly important. And we really appreciate the way that you guys came on board to work with us uh, for your six months placements and you embrace the, the passion that the staff here have for building this exhibit. Um, so I guess most, I hope most people know that we have free ranging mm -hmm. animals wherever possible um, and we want to give them a proper rainforest like habitat mm -hmm. and obviously a running stream is going to be a, a massive part of that yeah um, exactly. for the reasons that you outlined earlier yes in fact if we're talking about our free-ranging animals particularly we have free-ranging birds such as Luigi our yellow knobbed curacao and our rural partridges uh, we have reptiles such as our water dragon and we also have rainforest stream frogs our rainforest stream frogs have dwindled in their number numbers slightly recently but that's one of the reasons we want to breed this uh, build the stream to help their breeding territory improve in general. Exactly. And we're, we're not far off our goal now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just a bit over a thousand pounds still to go. Only that to much? Get, to get to the 15, the magic 15. Fantastic. That we, that we need to get to by the end of today, mm -hmm. uh, by just after midnight tonight, uh, we need to get to 15,000, otherwise we lose the opportunity of yeah. the, the double match funding from the Green Trust. Yes, yeah, so if you'd like your money to be potentially 
double match by the Greenham Trust, do go to bit.ly slash stream for stream, which will take you to the Good Exchange page where you'll find more information about our fundraiser, our project and how to donate. Thank you very much to Carl, our Executive Director here at the Trust for Sustainable Living and the Living Rainforest, for talking to us.